So we are halfway to make this stunning 3D mass flowers. In the previous video, we made this flower using polar coordinate system. In these parametric equations, there are lots of parameters we can tweak to make visual differences. So we're gonna make it fully controllable by using sliders, then generate various flowers. But first, I wanna give this beautiful surface to this dotted flower. To do that, I'm gonna make a 2D array to store all the vertices of the flower. And I also make the number of the column and rows to make the resolution adjustable. And right after that, I access all the vertices and make a plane by connecting each four vertices. So I make an array V, also make rows and columns. Then in the next loop, I replace this 60 and 360 to rows and curves. Yeah, the range limit was changed. For instance, this free range was up to 360, but now is this 90. So we only see the quarter of the horizontal shape. The same is true for the vertical shape. The theta range was up to 60, but now it's 30. So we only have the bottom half. So I replace this 60 to rows. Okay, now we see all the vertical shape again, but half resolution. For the fee, I change the increment to 1. Then multiply all the fee inside this nested loop by 360 divided by curves. Yeah, now we see the whole flower again. Now I remove the vertex function, also the begin shape. Instead, at here, I store a blank small array inside the array V. At this moment, the array V just become a 2D array. Also inside the nested loop, I create a vector to contain the XYZ coordinates. Then I store the vector in the small array I just pushed inside the 2D array V. We iterate that through all the vertices. And don't forget in the last of the draw function, reinitialize the V to empty. Okay, so right after the nested loop, we write another nested loop to access all the vertices we just stored. Inside here, we're gonna connect to each four closest points. So let's pick a random four vertices. If the index of this vertex in the 2D array is V theta phi, then what's the index of this vertex at above? It's gonna be V theta plus one phi, right? This one is V theta plus one phi one. And the last one is V theta phi plus one. So we write like so. But we get the error. Why? Because when the program picked the vertices on the far right, with this code, they cannot refer the two of the points at the right side. So we need to put the condition to prevent the index goes beyond. Oh, that's awesome. Now we not only have the surface, but also the mesh. Oh yeah, we also need to connect the last three index and the index zero. Hmm, awesome. For now, I remove the line mesh. Instead, I set a pinkish color to the surface, but make the saturation depends on the theta value. Hmm, this is what I want. That's beautiful. We have made the appearance, so now we're gonna make it controllable with sliders. So there are lots of values we can parameterize here, but at first, for example, I make two sliders for the diameter of the flower and the petal length. These two variables are to store the two sliders, and other two are for text that will be displayed right above the sliders. Then in the setup function, I create a slider and a div element for contain the text. And I duplicate this. These four values indicate mean, max, default, and the increment step. Yeah, now we can touch the sliders here. Next, in the draw function, I assign the slider values into these short named variables. Okay, this 60 is the pedal length, and this 200 is the diameter. Lastly, I display the slider values in the div element.
Yeah, it worked! <laughs> I want to move the sliders to the right side of the canvas and also make it looking better, so I set the CSS classes for the canvas, the sliders, and the text. Then I actually already have the classes in this CSS file. And this is for the HTML page. And this is for the P5 canvas. This one is for the text here. And this is for the sliders and the slider handles here. So I reload it. <laughs> it's hard to see, so I actually want to change this HTML body color to some dark green. Also, I actually removed the P5 canvas background by this clear function. Mmm, that looks smoother, so I personally like this. So, now I make more sliders for other many possible parameters. I duplicate the sliders. I set each four values, mean, max, default, increment step to some reasonable amount. Yeah, sometimes it's very confusing when we have a bunch of them. Display all the text associated with the sliders. Ok, we made all the sliders, so let's reload it. After that, we assign the slider values to the short named variables. Oh, I forgot to decorate them here. Finally, I assign all of them to actual terms in the equations. Have you satisfied your result? You can even tweak the equation as you like and find your favorite one. And furthermore, if you enjoyed this video, perhaps you will also like my another upcoming video makes those advanced looking double flower shape using a spherical coordinate system. So I'll put the video at the top right here when I upload it. So if you haven't subscribed this channel, subscribe it, then stay tuned.